Il Borough Market è il più antico mercato di Londra. Siamo con la D. Jane Swift e la direttrice delle operazioni Lucy Charles. Il mercato qualche decennio fa era un mercato all'ingrosso che serviva ai frutti vendoli del sud di Londra. Oggi è gestito da un trust di volontari ed è un faro per la produzione alimentare sostenibile, le filiere corte e il legame sociale che attira visitatori da ogni dove. Ma cosa rappresenta oggi il Borough Market in una città come Londra, una delle capitali del mondo che viene più facile associare a business e finanza che non a temi come la sostenibilità e l'agricoltura? So, as a, as a trust, we've been looking at our strategy to work out exactly those questions. So, one of the things that we've wanted to do is to make sure that we're able to um, have an offering for the local area, okay. as, as well as um, people coming in as tourists and things like that. Okay. And one of the things that we've just done recently, as well as looking at our strategy, is to introduce a food policy. Um, so with the food policy, it's the first time that the Trust has ever solidified its principles around food. So it's a set of nine, nine headings with sets of principles underneath, which will then determine the standards by which the Trust and all of its businesses kind of live by in the years to come. Il lavoro ed il messaggio di Slow Food hanno influenzato in qualche modo il cambiamento del Borough Market. We've got direct input from Slow Food. Through Covid a lot of that slowed down a little bit. Use the Borough Market are very much aligned. Um, so we're looking to see whether we can partner on a few more things um, and likewise with other strategic partners. E quali sono i progetti più importanti e significativi del market oggi? The market's been around for a thousand years and we're looking forward to, to 2030 to decide well, what does that future look like and be able to prioritise the things that we do. But also the place and the heritage and it is a really special environment. But the piece that we really do want to build on is, is our voice and particularly the part that we play in the community and the things that we can learn. All of the traders have got their, their own stories of how they're doing their bit to change the way people think about food. We're also linked into local schools to see um, what they're able to do um, in terms of the market. Più in generale, in tante città del mondo, anche in Italia, i vecchi mercati alimentari stanno rinascendo, affiancando sempre più spesso le attività di ristorazione e quelle di mercato agroalimentare. Cosa vuol dire secondo voi? Il Borough Market oggi è well known as a place to come and eat. So uh, a lot of our work that we do at the moment is to retain people shopping in that market and try to get that balance right. So that's a real area of focus for us moving forward. We believe that there, there is a sort of a really healthy symbiotic relationship to be had between the two offerings. People um, associate markets these days with um, more than shopping. It's an experiential thing and they want to go and they want to taste food. And I think it's our job to make sure that they come and they taste food but they're then inspired to cook food and it's a place where they can learn as well. So they then want to take the produce home and, and if you can get that balance right then both elements of that, of that reason to visit marketplaces. 